These 10 photos you're about to see have been used as evidence of the supernatural, the cause of conspiracy, and doubt of our known reality. But should they? There are many lists showing the mysterious sides of these pictures, but I'm about to break the mold and show the truth for the top 10 creepy photos explained. The legend on this photo goes that, in 1950, the Cooper family were moving into a Texas home that had previous owners. They took a photo on their first day in their new home, and everything was fine. However, when the photo was developed, it revealed a hanging body floating upside down over them with an eerie presence. Now, even I admit this picture is a bit creepy, but with this one, the composition doesn't hold up. For a start, it only started circulating around the early 2000s, which is odd that they developed a creepy photo and kept it hidden for over 50 years, conveniently after Photoshop was available. There's also no sourceable data, which is an obvious lead that the story is made up. And lastly, the shadow of the hanging body is on the right, obviously inconsistent with the light source of the rest of the photo. Almost like, somehow, the picture of the guy was taken while he was upright, then somehow flipped upside down? Because if it were upright, the shadow would possibly be correct. Either way, this one screams fake. Although this photo is not as viral as the others, it's still a cause of confusion. Described as a mix of the KKK and a satanic march, the photo is actually from 1940 Spain of a Christian ceremony called Semana Santa, which is done a week before Easter. It's a very outdated ritual by today's standard, but you could be assured that it's nothing too out of the ordinary of the day it was taken. This picture's a doozy, and has been going around from as early as the 1990s. It has a story that's told differently, but has the same consistencies throughout. It often tells that it's a true story from the United Arab Emirates. The photo was released as evidence by the police in the report. The case they were investigating was a young man who went missing in Ras El Khaima whilst trying to photograph the deserted parts of a cave. The one to tip the police was his friend, who called the police saying he saw his friend's camera flash go off, followed by a scream. He called his friend and heard no answer, so he thought he may have fell. A few hours later, they found the man, dead. The single picture found in his camera was this one. Now that your bones are freshly chilled, here's the inside scoop. It's an interesting photo with a legend, but is it real? No. The figure is actually a sculpture from the Crystal Quest Tour of Cox's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, England. You can Google it. This image is a haunting display of frozen horse heads sticking out of the ground, with what looks like a couple casually posing in front of it. Due to it not being common knowledge of where this image came from, it has led to a lot of mystery of what it's meant to be and what it means. Well, here's the origin. It's actually a still from the 2007 film, My Winnipeg. These strange masked kids were appearing in Auckland, New Zealand and it wasn't long before the images started circulating. Although this one picture right now is the most known one, others were taken. Police even started getting involved, putting out a statement to be wary of them, and to inform the police with any information. There's even a video clip of these kids behaving... strangely. Well, the thing is, the fact that the people who caught all this on tape were film students, and the convenience of it all, and the evidence of no hostile action despite the threatening presence, most drawn up the conclusion of it all being a simple viral prank.
On the 25th of July 1976, NASA released photos of the Cydonia region of Mars, which was taken by the Viking 1 orbiter. A while later, it caught the eye of alien enthusiasts who quickly spotted what looked like a humanoid looking face. Vikings chief scientist Jerry Soffen was quick to dismiss the face as a trick of the light. Sadly, this kind of statement is something that conspiracists are known to chew up and spit out as reverse psychology evidence that it is in fact real. Theories were flying around of long lost Martian civilizations or distant travellers. It was finally laid to rest 20 years later, after the original photos were taken, when another space mission took higher quality photos. These produced more clear photos that proved that what Jerry was saying about it being a trick of the light was true. In 1964, Jim Templeton took a photo that has become one of the most circulated images of proof of either a time traveller or alien life. Jim claimed he didn't notice anyone else in the frame when taking the picture, but when it was developed, a man, who people say appears in a spacesuit, was standing behind Jim's daughter. It's funny how mysterious space people seem to always be photographed by professional photographers. Anyway, conspirators ate it up, and linked the spaceman to two men's strange visit to Templeton, and an aborted missile launch in Woomera, Australia. A closer look over the image shows that the spaceman actually has his back turned to the photographer due to the arm that would otherwise be bent in an impossible angle. So does that mean he's wearing his space helmet backwards? Well, if you enhance the image's contrast, it reveals a more defined neckline and dress armholes. If you compare that photo to another photo taken of the day, you can see this woman here with a strikingly similar dress which shows that it may have just been an overexposed image of Jim's wife. The 1934 photo of the Loch Ness Monster is one of the most, if not the most, famous pieces of cryptid photography to date. It's also named the Surgeon's Photograph because it was taken by a London doctor, Robert Kenneth Wilson who apparently wanted nothing to do with it. The truth behind this one arose in 1993, when Christine Sperling revealed that Marmaduke Wetherell, a Daily Mail employee, asked him to build a monster out of a toy submarine. This whole stunt was a plan of revenge on the Daily Mail for publicly ridiculing Wetherell after he had been tricked into thinking that obvious faked Loch Ness monster footprints were real. After the South Fork Bridge in British Columbia was reopened in 1941, a lot of photos were taken, and many years later, authentic photos from the event caught the eye of people as strange. A lot of them shown someone who stood out from the crowd. If you buy into the theories, they believe he is a time-travelling observer, as evident by his sunglasses and print top, both of which could not be obtained in the early 1940s. No matter how entertaining the idea of this is, if it were true, it's not. Sunglasses have been around since the 1920s, and the man's shirt, instead of being printed, would more likely be a sewn-on graphic, a style used by athletes' clothing around that era. And if you walk around town nowadays, it's obvious it's not uncommon for people to wear sports clothing while not playing the sport. In 1995, a 90-year-old town hall burnt down in Wem, England. An avid photographer, Tony O'Reilly, took a picture of the burning building, and later claimed that the developed picture had a mysterious apparition appear in it. It shown a little girl standing in the doorway, ominously peering out. This photo has been praised as one of the most compelling photos of an actual ghost for many years. This all came to a halt, however, in 2010, 
when a pensioner pointed out the girl as being utterly identical to a girl in the lower corner of an old local postcard. And when you see it, it's hard to unsee, especially when you put them side by side. The similarities reveal that the mysterious image was a fake. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's list, and if you did, leave a like. And if you missed last week's list, click here for the top 10 creepiest historical masks of all time. <laughs>